Alright, I'm back. Let's do one more run, shall we? That was a lot of fun. We can look at our card library. We can view all the upgrades. Alright, let's do another one. So, since we unlocked a new character, we could go for that one. The Silent. A deadly huntress from the Foglands eradicates foes with daggers and poisons. At the start of each combat, draw two additional cards, alright? Which means we won't be healing anymore. And we start with 70 health instead of 80. Alright, let's give it a go. Greetings, I am Nyo. Wait, what? Reach the boss to receive my blessing. Alright. Talking whale. So, let's have a look. There's a merchant right here. Campfire. Also campfire over here. There are two campfires on the right side. Also two campfires on the left side. Let's go for the question mark and then the earliest merchant and then we can go another question mark and then yet another merchant and then yet another question mark and a chest. Yep, sounds good to me. So there's the ring of the snake. At the start of each combat draw two additional cards. That's quite nice to open with big combos, at least it makes you more likely to draw big combos. Alright. So, 11 damage. This is new. Deal 3 damage and apply 1 weakness. Okay, well, that's nice. So, that's 8 damage instead. Now we can use... Again, a block. Discard a card. I assume discard means it will come back. And then strike. Twice. So wait. Does this character get completely different cards? Well, I mean, not completely different, but different cards from the other class. It's not just the class ability. No damage this time. Yeah, and now we draw defend. Thanks, game. No point using it. Okay, I like this game even more now. <laughs> Definitely going to play this a lot more. 14 damage. Okay. We can get 10 block. We can't quite kill it yet, can we? Uh, no. We are two damage short. Alright. Fine. Let's just block twice, since unlike the previous character, we won't be healing between each fight. Actually, one block will do. We'll only take one damage. We need 22. Do we have 22? Mm, well, no, not quite. We are one damage short. Seriously now? The curse of one health strikes again. Now he's dead. We got an elixir. So that can exhaust all status and curse cards from our hand. Which means that if we get a choice at some point to get something good but get a curse in our deck, for example, 
there's pretty much no downside because we will be able to remove that curse. And we can add a card. Dagger throw. Deal 9 damage, draw 1 card and discard 1 card. Prepared. Draw 1 card and discard 1 card. And calculated gamble. Discard your hand, then draw that many cards. Exhaust. Okay. We could have used this on the, the final boss that we were just doing. <laughs> dagger throw seems nice. I like dagger throw. Next up, question mark. Remove a card from your deck and lose 7 health. Yeah, we could remove something bad for free. Because normally you have to pay to remove a card at the merchant, and it's not exactly cheap. Let's remove something. We'll remove something that we will want to remove later on, anyway. So one of the defense, for example. Okay, let's remove one of the defense. Since we have something like survivor. Okay. Acid slime and spike slime. They will do 15 damage. We can apply weakness to the acid slime. Let's do that. That's zero cost card. Might as well. So, actually, we could have killed the one in the front. Let's play it safe. Yeah, we'll play it safe. It's fine. Okay, that's better. We can kill the spike slime instantly. We got neutralize, nice. And we can remove defend. Because there's no more damage coming. Let's not use neutralize. What's leak? Oh, weekend. 25% less damage for one turn. Okay. He should be dead on the next turn, hopefully. We need 15 damage. Do we have 15 damage? No, we do not have 15 damage. Let's use one more defense to remove it from the card pool. That took longer than it should have. Alright, give me a good card. Deal 15 damage, draw two more cards next turn. Okay, that's pretty nice. Destruction. Add random skill to your hand, it costs zero this turn. That's potentially really nice, because it's specifically a skill that can be cards that enable combos and things like that. But Predator is pretty good. It's a big attack and it gives you more cards on the next turn. Let's get Predator. So now we'll go for the Merchant. And then we can get another question mark. What can we get? Don't really have enough money to buy any relics, I'm afraid. What can we buy? Apply to vulnerable for free. At the start of your turn, add a shift to your hand. Shifts are zero cost attacks, which exhaust. Wait, what? Apply 99 vulnerable. Exhaust. What the heck? So... The enemy will basically 
be vulnerable for the rest of the combat. <laughs> That's actually kind of hilarious. What else do we have here? Let's check all the cards before we decide. Apply free poison to a random enemy three times. Okay. Deal 5 damage. If the enemy is weak, gain energy and draw one card. Okay. So as long as one enemy is weak, this is basically free. And the quick slash is probably like the worst in here. Well, we can't buy this one, so that's not a consideration. Can we buy more than one? Yeah, we can. I will definitely pick up Terror. This will be really nice against bosses. And I might grab Infinite Blade, too. That is a power, which means we get a shiv for free in our hand every single turn. Okay, let's get Terror and Infinite Blade. And we can move on. Proceed. Alright. 12 damage. We draw Infinite Blade. Might as well use that right away, I think. Neutralize to weaken the attack. Okay, Infinite Blades. Probably block. Okay, Survivor. And Dagger Throw. Might be better to save Dagger Throw for when it will be more useful. Yo. Only one damage. So there's the Shiv. It's not an amazing card, but it's free. We get it every single turn and it doesn't count as card draw. This is not an amazing draw. We can't kill it, can we? No, not even close. So defend once and just do damage, I guess. damage. We can weaken it first. So that's nine. We can also apply vulnerable for the rest of this combat. I mean, yeah. Okay, 7 damage. Can we just kill it already? Yes, we can, actually. We got an energy potion. Nice. That will be useful for some good combos. And what can we get? Spend all energy, deal 7 damage X number of times. Okay, so kind of like single target uh, whirlwind or whatever it was called. Finisher, deal 6 damage for each attack played this turn. And Blur, gain 5 block, block is not removed at the start of the next turn. I think we'll take Skewer. Especially since we now got that energy potion. So yeah, I like that. And now we can go for the elite enemy. Well, it's not like we have a choice. So, artifacts. Let's see. That's going to be terror right away, I guess. No, hold on. They have the buff which negates the first debuff they take. 
So let's save Terror for now, shall we? That's not any better. We need to remove the artifact buff that they have. Infinite Blades. Okay. This is kind of a bad draw again. Ones. Okay, there's the sheave. We got survivor. So we can remove the effect now. Preferably on well, it doesn't matter on which guy, not the guy we've been attacking already. No, we can do 15 damage and draw two more cards next turn. Then we can do four damage, that's 19. We can't quite kill it, we can almost do it, but not quite. We should probably block, just saying. Okay, let's discard... What should we discard? We don't actually need the block right now, since we already got 8. Oh, I should have used Shiv, whoops. My bad. That's going to be a lot of wounds. Okay. Now we can use terror, but I think I'd rather block right now. I wouldn't want to die. This might be close. Looks like this is a pretty squishy character early on. Okay, we can discard a wound, so that's nice. I will definitely do that. No need to use defend. Okay, no damage on this turn. But we are pretty low. Sixteen damage. Can we kill one? Yes, we can. And then we can weaken... No, we can't weaken the guy in the back. But we can block. Just kill the first one and then block. That way we'll only take 3 damage. Okay. Well, unfortunately I don't have blocks now, which is kind of bad. We can use Elixir. I think I'd rather keep it. This is going to be pretty close. We can kill it now. It's a shame we can't heal ourselves in any way. Well, it's dead. 
We better get something good out of this. Let's see, Fred and Needle. At the start of each combat gain 5 plated armor. What's the difference between armor and plated armor? Or between block and plated armor? I guess we'll find out. And we got a Regan potion. And we can add a card. Dagger throw, dash, gain 10 block, deal 10 damage. Yeah, that's really nice. Deal 4 damage for each skill in your hand. We'll take dash. And we can check the vendor. Not expecting miracles in here, but we do have 77 gold. Let's see. Destruction. Next turn, gain 2 energy. And it doesn't exhaust. Yeah, I think we'll buy that one. Deal 10 damage to all enemies. Draw one less card next turn. Add a random skill. Yeah, let's get out maneuver. That sounds pretty nice. Okay, now we should probably heal ourselves up. Just a suggestion. <laughs> I'm not even going to look at the upgrades. We need to heal, obviously. And we got chest. Mango. <laughs> Raise your max HP by 14. Hey, that's nice. We got a mango. <laughs> Go us. Now we are at 43. A little bit better. You come across an inconspicuous pedestal with a shining gold idol sitting peacefully atop. It looks incredibly valuable. Receive golden idol, but trigger a trap. How bad is that trap going to be? <laughs> I'm a little bit reluctant because we are at half health. I have no idea how good the golden idol is and how bad the trap is. But sure, let's do it for science. Oh, we can choose what we are going to do. Okay. Become Kurt's injury. Yeah, we'll go for this one because we can actually remove that with an elixir. I don't want to take 16 damage. And I don't think I want to lose 4 maximum health. Yeah, I think Become Cursed will be the best choice here, seeing how we can remove it. What do you mean? Oh, only for one combat? Fine, let's lose 4 maximum health then. That still gives us 60, uh, I mean 80. Next. That's new. What's this? Spore Cloud. On death applies vulnerable to you for two turns. I'll keep that in mind. So how do we open? Probably by blocking. Plated Armor. Gain 5 block at the end of your turn. Losing HP from an attack reduces Plated Armor by 1. Oh, that's nice. So as long as we don't lose health, we will keep gaining block from this. I like that. Okay, they will do 12. Just use defend twice and then strike. What does the idol do? Oh yeah, good question. Enemies drop 25% more gold. Yeah, that's not bad, seeing how we only just started this run. Okay, next. 12 damage again. We don't have any blocks, that's unfortunate. We can, however, draw a card. Outmaneuver. Not terrible, but I was hoping to draw a block to maximize the benefit from plated armor. But alas, that did not happen. Outmaneuver. And since we can't kill it on this turn anyway, we might as well pop infinite blades. So goodbye plated armor, I guess. We still got some. Now, we can definitely kill one. 
gain 10 block and deal 10 damage. It will leave it at 1 health. Mind you, we will get vulnerable for 2 turns once we kill it. We can kill it on this turn if we want to. Thing is, they are not actually attacking on this turn. Draw two more cards on the next turn. Alright, let's kill it. We should be able to kill the next one on the next turn quite easily. We don't really need block, but I'm going to use this for 10 damage. It will die on the next turn easily. It's as good as dead, basically. Goodbye. Oh, we got plus 5 extra gold because of the idol. Nice. What's next? Deal 5 damage, apply 1 weak. Right, that will have a synergy in our deck. We had some card which had extra effect when enemy is weak, or did we? Draw one card, discard one card. Draw three cards, discard one card. Huh. I like acrobatics. Alright, let's go for acrobatics. Next, we got... Whetstone. Upon pickup, upgrade two random attacks. Yeah, alright. We got upgraded dash and upgraded strike. Not bad. So dash will now do 13 damage and give us 13 block. That's pretty damn nice. Alright, let's move on. Oh, we got a looter. So he will steal our gold and then attempt to run away. Let's see. Vulnerable for 99 turns. <laughs> that card is hilarious. Now we got 5 energy. Can we just kill him? Yes, we can. Goodbye. We got our gold back, and we can pick up a card. Obtain a random potion, exhaust. That sounds pretty nice. Some of the potions are really useful. Oh, and we should probably use that region potion at some point. Like, now. I think I'll grab alchemize, though. I assume you can't carry more than three potions. Yeah, I like this one. That's kind of an indirect heal. Now, do we go for the merchant? We do have 110 gold. Let's check out the merchant. Might get something nice out of him. Okay. Upgrade all of your cards for the rest of the combat. Exhaust. Yeah, except we don't have enough money for that one. Deal damage equal to the number of cards in your draw pile. Wait, what? Deal damage equal to the number of cards in your draw pile. That's potentially insane. So if you have 20 cards in your draw pile, you will do 20 damage for zero energy. Even more if the enemy is vulnerable. Well laid plans. At the end of your turn, retain up to one card. 
retained cards are not discarded at the, at the end of the turn. And here's the sale card. All enemies lose 6 strength for one turn. Exhaust. Okay. That's like super situational. Apply 3 poison and 3 weak. Deal 5 damage for 0 energy. And choke. Deal 12 damage whenever you play a card this turn. Targeted enemy loses 3 health. Hmm. I kind of like both Choke and Mind Blast. I would say Choke is more reliable, because if you draw a Mind Blast when there's hardly anything in your draw pile, then that's going to be borderline useless. But Choke would be a nice synergy with Sheaves. And we have cards that give us extra energy. It would be nice for combos in general. Let's get Choke. That leaves us with 42 gold. We could technically still buy this one, but it's too situational for my taste. Like, if enemies don't actually have any strength to begin with, that does literally nothing for one energy. So, no thanks, I'll pass. Okay, and we should probably rest before the boss. Let's do that. Alright, first boss. What's this? A Hexa Ghost. Okay. So I would say we should just pop the regen potion right away. Let's use that. And then what? He is not attacking. Which means there's no point using dash, that will do nothing. We'll use auto maneuver. Well, we will definitely use terror. I mean, that's kind of obvious. Gain energy on the next turn. And dagger throw? Strike? Let's just use upgraded strike. That's a pretty good opener. We can still use energy potion to gain two energy. Six damage six times, really. Okay, bro. Well, defend twice, I guess. We just use all the cards in our hand. I already dislike this guy. Just saying. Yeah, that's a bit too much damage for my taste. I'm not a fan. Okay, six damage this time. Oh, sure, now we get neutralized. Piss off, game. Should have gave me that on the previous turn. Because then we could have weakened it. So, wait. He will only do 6 damage. We can use Survivor and discard Defend, because we don't need Defend on this turn. No point using neutralize right now. Well, we just attack it. That terror was so good on the first turn against the boss. Burn. Unplayable. Didn't quite catch the effect. Six damage again. We got choke. How many cards can we play this turn? We also got skewer. And we can obtain a random potion. Let's maybe obtain a random potion. Choke isn't actually going anywhere. And we might get something that will synergize with it. That's another elixir. Yeah, okay. Let's just play it safe on this turn. Not going to blow a combo just yet. Can we just pop an elixir when it will do nothing? Oh, it might actually be useful with these burn cards, I guess. S 
so. He intends to block and use a buff. We just burn all our attacks. This isn't too bad so far. If only we had that weakness card when he used six attacks in one turn, we wouldn't have taken any damage. Okay, next turn, gain two energy. This will be amazing if we draw Skewer, because then we can also use energy potion and attack him with that. So... Right, let's use this and then gain some blocks. Yeah, this will be enough. Now, fingers crossed for the skewer on the next turn. That will do amazing damage combined with terror. We did not get it. We can use elixir now, though. Get rid of burn. We can still draw a card. We can weaken him. That's zero energy, so might as well. What do we discard, though? I kind of don't want to discard anything, but we will draw a card. We'll just discard defend. Hopefully I won't regret that decision. We got choke. Okay. Maybe we should play it safe. We can always discard Shiv. I kind of want to use Defend to not lose as much health. I mean, Choke isn't going anywhere. Let's try to prepare for a better next turn. We'll use Defend and then Predator to get two more cards on the next turn. So this way we'll only take five damage. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Can we actually kill him? Good question. Draw three cards, discard one card. We could discard neutralize. Just thinking about it. If only we had more energy. If only outmaneuver gave you two energy on this turn, not on the next one. Okay, we got strike plus and two defense. We don't need defense. So that's two more energy. Well, let's set up with outmaneuver for the next turn. I'll still use Neutralize. Okay. I'm keeping that Energy Potion for a good combo in my hand. Okay, yep, now we need to do something. Look at this. Is this any good? No, not really, it's not. That's actually kind of terrible. That's actually terrible, holy crap. Well... Luck was not on our side. We just play everything that we have. Yeah, he will do a crap ton of damage. We are not dead just yet, but almost. And I don't have any more elixirs. Can we kill him now? Let's see... Mm, what do we discard? Don't need any blocks.
we can't kill him on this turn. Hopefully our draw will be good on the next turn. It kind of has to be, otherwise we are dead. I still have that energy potion. Okay. Surely we have 23 damage, right? Tell me we got 23 damage. Yeah, we do. Oh, he had block. So, do we have 20? No, we don't have 23 damage. Well, that's slightly annoying. We aren't dead just yet. Wait, are we dead? No, we are actually dead, literally. Well, that was just really bad draw. I mean, I had counters for him, I just didn't draw them at the right moment. Let's try it again. That was a little bit too short for my taste. Let's go for it again. Same character. Maybe we'll get a little bit luckier this time. Yes, another try. Oh! Obtain a random rare card, yeah. Lose your starting relic, obtain a random boss relic. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's go for this one. Question card. On card reward screens, choose from four cards instead of three. Yeah, that's potentially pretty nice. We didn't have to sacrifice our starting relic for that, but that is pretty nice. We are going right. So. Let's go. Yeah, it is pretty nice. We can potentially build a much better deck than we normally would. I mean, considering it's a boss relic, you're not meant to have it this early normally, so... Okay, 66 health. Can't kill him just yet. We got a weak potion, nice. If only we had that on that boss. <laughs> that would have been great. And here are the choices. Skewer. I think that's going to be it, but let's check the others. Blore, gain 5 block. Block is not removed at the start of your next turn. Deal 5 damage, apply 3 poison. Yeah, let's go for the skewer, that's just so good. Next. Weaken him. Won't be using skewer on this turn, so we can discard that. Plus free strength. Okay. 
We could just play it safe and go for total block. Yeah, let's just block all his damage. It's not like we're in a huge rush. Okay, 10 damage. That will block everything. And no point using defend. Now we can do 21 damage. Well, now we can just kill him. <laughs> Goodbye. We got a regen potion, nice. And we can get a card. Deal 8 damage, draw 1 card. All enemies lose 6 strength for 1 turn, exhaust, gain 4 block, but 0 energy cost. And distraction, add a random skill to your hand. It costs 0 turn, exhaust. Tempting. We don't have a whole lot of skill cards just yet, but we will get them later on. Let's grab a, uh, that one. And we can check out the merchant. Let's have a look. Not enough to buy any artifacts, so I'm not even going to look at them. Don't want to know what I'm missing. Uh, transmutation. Transform your hand. Exhaust. Transformed cards become a random card of any rarity. Okay. Interesting. So if you have a really bad draw, but you have transmutation, that would be nice. Apply it to vulnerable for zero energy. Whenever you are attacked, deal free damage to the attacker. Spend all energy. Enemy loses X amount of strength. Apply X weakness exhaust. Next turn, gain two energy. And sale card. Deal 10 damage to all enemies. Draw one less card next turn. Only 36 gold. That is kind of nice. Yeah, I'm going to grab that. And we can still get one more. Either outmaneuver or malaise. Spend all energy. Enemy loses that much strength and we apply that much weakness. It's not as useful if the enemy doesn't have strength. I think I'd rather get out maneuver. Alright. And we'll go for a question mark. Okay. These look pretty weak. On taking attack damage, rolls up and gains 5 block. Oh, alright, I'll keep that in mind. Well then. Well, we can kill it if we want to. Here's what we're going to do. Strike the one in the back. Then you survivor. And then we can skewer the one in the front. And that way we'll take zero damage. Pretty bad draw here. Backflip. Gain five block, draw two cards. Yeah, okay. <laughs> there, deal ten damage. So he's dead. What can we get next? Sucker punch, deal seven damage, apply one weak. Dagger spray, deal four damage to all enemies twice. Noxious fumes. At the start of your turn, apply two poison to all enemies. And quick slash. Deal eight damage, draw one card. I'm going to take card draw, actually. 
And we can get two question marks in a row now. As you make your way down a long corridor... Oh, it's this one again. We had this already. I think I'll go for a relic. Although, that regret curse is pretty damn bad. Still. Relics can be so nice. Let's go for a relic. Hopefully something good. Happy flower. Every three turns, gain one energy. That seems pretty nice. Okay. I like that one. Now, we can either go for an elite or for a question mark. We have another star after the question mark. So, I'm leaning towards the question mark. We don't have that much gold left, but 57 is enough to buy something. Oh, this again. Hey, wait, no, that's different. Among the stone and boulders, you notice an intricate large blood statue resembling a wing. You find gold spilling from its cracks. Maybe there is more inside. Remove a card from your deck. You mean I can pick what I want to remove? So I, we can remove that card right away. <laughs> I assume. Yeah? Well, that was 100% worth it. So we got a really nice relic basically for nothing. Well, not literally for nothing, we lost some health. But extra energy every three turns? That's amazing. Before you lies an elaborate shrine to a forgotten spirit, upgrade a card. Okay, what do we want to upgrade? Let's check what's good. 14 damage to all enemies. Ten damage for each energy. Well, seeing how we just got the happy flower relic, upgrading skewer would be really nice. We could even set up with, what was it called? Outmaneuver. We can use Outmaneuver one turn before Happy Flower triggers. And then we'll get plus 3 energy. And we could do 60 damage with one skewer, if we want to. Yeah, we are going to upgrade skewer. Okay, and another question mark, then we got a chest. It's a fight. These things again. Fine. So, hold on. Not much point using distraction right now, but it's not like we have a lot of other options. I mean, we can kill one of them if we want to, but remember, that will give us vulnerable. So I don't necessarily want to do that. It will, however, prevent damage. I guess it's worth it then. There. That way we are vulnerable, but the other guy is not doing any damage on this turn. And hopefully we'll have options on the next turn. He got strength. Okay, he will use 13. I guess we'll block all of that then. Yeah? And now we are not vulnerable anymore. We should be able to kill him pretty quickly. He's as good as dead. Goodbye. Next card. Escape plan. Draw one card. If the card is a skill, gain free block. Okay. Prepared. Draw one card. Discard one card. Piercing whale. All enemies lose six strength for one turn. Exhaust. 
at the end of your turn retain up to one card. I kind of like this one. It doesn't cost any energy, so if you draw something really nice, you can use it on this turn and then still on the next one. I like that. On Skewer, that would be great. That way you can use Skewer two turns in a row. Bag of Preparation. At the start of each combat, draw two additional cards. Nice one. Okay, now... Yeah, we should go for the camp. We can heal 21 or we can upgrade. We should probably upgrade something. At the end of your turn, retain up to two cards. That's a really nice upgrade right there. I think we'll do that one. Outmaneuver would give us three extra energy on the next turn. All out attack could do 14 damage. Destruction could cost zero. Yeah, I think well laid plans. And uh, no, this is not my starting relic. So well laid plans. Retain up to two cards. I think so, yeah. Alright, let's go for that one then. We need some more good cards. So, 68 health, Acid Slime. Split. When its HP is at or below 50%, it will split into two smaller slimes. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. So let's prepare for a good next turn. I think. First, let's use Quick Slash because that will give us a card draw. Yeah, outmaneuver. And attack. Weekend, so that's 25% less damage. We got well laid plans, but I don't really want to use that on anything right now. Bit of a wasted energy there, but oh well. Okay, neutralize. We need to weaken it a bit. Add a random skill to your hand. It costs zero. So I'm thinking we should use skewer when it's as close to 50% as possible, but not quite at 50%. 50% will be at 34. Let's see what skill we can get from this. Backflip. Yeah, that's nice. We got five block. Ten block. And let's do some damage. Okay, we can do nine more damage before it splits. We could clone all out attack, but that's probably better to keep for when he splits. Yeah, we can retain wound. <laughs> Why would we do that? Okay. We are unfortunately still weakened. He's not doing anything, though. More energy for the next turn. If I attack him now, he will split, so I do not want that. We can do two more damage with Neutralize. And that's it.
16 damage. So, while splitting cancel his current action, I assume it would. Alright, let's do that then. Twenty two. It could have been better, but it's not too terrible. If only we draw the all out attack right now. Backflip and defend, probably. No, survival first. So that's 18 block. Okay. Now we got all out attack. We are still weakened, unfortunately. But they aren't actually doing anything. So let's use well laid plants. And we can retain up to two cards. All out attack first. And then we can kill one of them. Yeah, we need all three. There. Oh, so now we can keep that for the next turn. Yeah, I don't want that. And now we can kill it, I think. Seriously, that's a really crappy draw right there. We can't quite kill it, but it can't actually do anything, because it is not doing anything. Now it's dead. And we got 50 health. Alright, next card. Caltrops. Whenever you are attacked, deal 3 damage to the attacker. Quick Slash, which we already have. Backstab. Deal 12 damage. Start each combat with this card in your hand. Interesting. And exhaust. Okay. A bit torn about this one. I think I prefer Dagger Throw. Backstab doesn't sound that good. We could also take Caltrops for enemies that do multiple attacks, but these seem to be pretty rare. None of these cards are that great. Technically, skipping is also an option. But let's get Dagger Throw. Now we got 87 gold. It's worth checking out the merchant. We could use card removal service if we want to. I don't think I want to. What can we buy? What's the sale card? Add two sheaves to your hand. Okay. We could buy that for 36. Deal 3 damage 5 times. This doesn't seem too bad. Hmm. All right, let's get that one. 
And we can move on. We got a jaw worm and acid slime. Let's draw a card. We can almost kill one of them. <laughs> but not quite. Damn it. Well done. We need to do 24 damage if we want to kill it. Can't quite do it now. Shift does what? 4 damage? Right? So that's 8. No, we definitely can't. I think I'd rather save distraction. Well, yeah, I'd rather save it. We'll just take 6 damage, which is fine. Okay. Not a lot of options this turn. I guess we'll just block the 10 damage from Acid Slime and then you strike. I do not want well laid plans. Now we got all our attack. He has six block. We can weaken one of them. We can also get eight block. Okay, well, we will definitely get eight block. But what then? Let's weaken the guy in the front. That will reduce his damage to seven. We could kill him. And completely block the other one, right? Yes. Actually, no. He will have one health left still. It's still worth using it. Now he's dead. Should have probably used Regen Potion at the start of the fight. Not much point using it now. No, I don't want to discard. And it's dead. We got a poison potion. Apply six poison. And we can add a card. Something good would be nice. Poison stab. Deal five damage. Apply three poison. Crippling poison. Apply three poison and three weak. Deflect. And prepared. Could grab poison stab. That's not too bad. Alright, let's grab Poison Stab. Seems like the best option out of all of these. We got Ancient T set. Whenever you get to a rest site, start the next combat with two energy. I mean, two extra energy, I take it. So that's going to be the boss. Okay, and we need to rest. Our health is a little bit on the low side. Alright, let's do this. A slime with a top hat. <laughs> okay. Well, here's our opening hand. Let's draw a card first. 
We do have Skewer, we could do 50 damage with that if we really want to. Huh. Okay. Oh yeah, you know what, let's use the Regen Potion. Like that. And I guess we'll apply Poison. It can be poisoned, right? So, if we use well light plants, we could save Skewer for the next turn. Or we could use Skewer now, and then use well light plants for Quick Slash. Or for Dagger Throw. Yeah, that's the problem. I won't have a 5 energy next turn, so using Skewer seems to be the best option right now. Alright, let's open with Skewer, because that's 50 damage. Then we'll use, well, Light Plants. Here, and that's our turn. We'll keep Quick Slash and Dagger Throw. Draw Reduction, really. Draw one less card for two turns, that's not very nice. Poison Stab. He's not attacking right now. Karintan, thanks for subscribing. I appreciate the support. Cheers. Okay, let's deal 8 damage and draw a card. And we can discard Survivor or something. Add 2 shifts to your hand, so that's 8 damage, right? There. 54 health and quite a lot of poison. I'll take it. I do not want to retain. Actually, yeah, let's retain all out attack, I guess. Okay, now we got two slimes. Neutralize the one in the back. We can do 10 damage, but we'll draw one less card on the next turn. That's kind of bad, especially since we are already drawing one less card on the next turn. I'm leaning more towards just using strike three times right now, honestly. Yeah, I don't really want to retain that one, although... They will also split. We can just keep saving it. Okay. Interesting. Draw reduction words off. They are not attacking. We can set up without maneuver for the next turn. Let's open with distraction and let's see what that gives us. Discard your hand, then draw that many cards. Okay. Interesting. How about we use Outmaneuver and then Calculated Gamble? Or we can save Calculated Gamble, we don't have to use it right now. We can use it later. No, I don't want to do damage just yet, because that way he will split, and we don't want that to happen just yet. Let's keep Calculated Gamble.
Okay, now we got six energy. Do we want to discard our hand? Possibly. So hold on, we can use Blade Dance to add two shifts. Wait, hold on, hold on. If we use Blade Dance before, we'll lose one energy, but we'll get one more card redrawn. I think I'd rather keep my energy. This is a pretty bad draw, so we should definitely use Calculated Gamble, I think. I don't really want to use any of these right now. Okay. Is that any better? It's... well... Reduce damage. That's 12. We only need one more block. Or do we? No, we actually need two blocks. Not too happy with that turn, but I guess it will do. We did block everything. That's a lot of damage. This would be a good moment to bring them below 50%. Can we do that? We need 23 health or lower. We can do it to one of them. Not sure if we can do it to both. We got two more energy. We would have to draw something good. Uh, yeah, that will actually do the trick. Yes, it will. Nice. That's literally the card we needed. We needed that exact card, actually. Clearly, we're top decking. Do we want to keep Poison Stab? I don't think so. Let's keep Skewer, though. So now they will split one more time. Here. No more splitting, but we still have to kill them. All-out attack, yes. That's pretty much what we needed. Let's see. Let's use that first, I guess. And then we can kill the only one who's doing damage. Goodbye. These debuffs are pretty irritating. Okay. 18 damage coming in. We can add two sheaves. We should be able to kill one. We got four energy. three cards to kill him, which is pretty annoying, but oh well. No, either defend or neutralize. It won't really make much of a difference. 
I guess, neutralized because it will also do some damage. Oh no, we can use both, right. So he will do free damage only. First card draw. Well, we can kill one. That's a really bad draw. Can you just die already? That took long enough. Alright, card. Die, die, die. Deal 13 damage to all enemies. Exhaust. Okay. On your next turn, your attack damage is doubled. Interesting. That would be a pretty damn good combo. <laughs> that with skewer, or that with die, die, die. Adrenaline, gain energy, draw two cards, exhaust. This turn, your next skill is played twice. Holy crap. All of these are good for different reasons. Like, burst would be pretty amazing. Die, die, die is obviously good. So... If you use burst with skewer will that do l let's say you have six energy right or free energy whatever if you use six energy uh, if you use burst with six energy you go down to five then you use skewer will that do 50 damage twice i assume so oh your skill is played twice so you can't use it on skewer you're right but that with Phantasmal Killer. That would be pretty funny. It's a really tough choice. I kind of like Adrenaline. Because that costs zero energy. It gives you one energy and you draw two cards. If you had good card, if you have good cards for a combo in your hand, but you need to try drawing something to make them even better, that makes adrenaline really good. And I assume you can retain adrenaline. I don't see why not. It's a card, so you can just keep it in your hand for whenever you need it. I mean, die, die, die is only really useful against multiple enemies. It will do nothing against a boss. Obviously, it will do damage against the boss, but it's not nearly as good. I'm going to take Adrenaline. And we can choose a Relic. Lizard Tail. When you would die, heal to 50% of your maximum health instead. Works only once. Runic Dome. Gain energy at the start of each turn. You can no longer see enemy in tents. Okay. Now that's a really interesting relic right there. Runic Pyramid. At the end of your turn, you no longer discard your hand. Draw one less card each turn. All of these are kind of weird and interesting at the same time. 
honestly, I think I'll take Lizard Tail. I'm going to take the Lizard Tail. Like, the tail will always work, and it will always be great. If only on the final boss, if we get that far. Anyway, I need a quick break again, so I'll be back in five minutes.